Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Just filming another video for you guys today. So the topic is going to be around why you should be stockpiling. But before I jump into that, I just wanted to give a quick introduction because I've noticed I do have quite a few new viewers that aren't too sure about what I do. So I film a lot of videos around grocery hauls, budget meals, budget challenges, stockpiling, and I do dabble in a little bit of finance videos here and there, but I try to keep everything nice and simple. And obviously, welcome to my original viewers as well. So we'll just jump straight into the topics. So I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but fuel prices are going up again because of the supply issues. This isn't just an issue that Australia is having. It's a worldwide issue, guys. So supply is going down, which means consumers need more. We're demanding more fuel. And because there's not enough supply and there's more demand, prices are going up. And when prices for fuel go up, that means the cost of your food's going to go up as well because the trucks deliver your food to the grocery stores. Again, this is a worldwide issue. Other countries have been instructed by their government to stockpile for at least 10 days worth of food. Countries like Finland, Germany, France, and there were other countries on that list as well. The reason why I wanted to tell you guys this is because in Australia, we live a pri pretty privileged lifestyle. Everything's hunky-dory most of the time. But at some point, we've got to take some accountability because the issues that are happening around the world at the moment are not normal. COVID is not normal. Our government hasn't faced that challenge before. And now you've got the war between the Ukraine and Russia, inflation. All these issues are coming all at once at our government. So we, I think we're so privileged to a point where we expect our government to fix everything for us right now. Um, obviously, the bigger issues, we'll leave that for the government to fix. But what can we do right now to help ourselves, essentially? So buying a few extra items of food in your grocery shop each week, that's something a lot of us can do, right? Buying an, an extra can of peas that's a dollar or an extra bag of flour salt sugar whatever it is pasta it's 80 cents at coals at the moment we need to take accountability and be proactive because buying a few extra items gonna relieve stress for us in the long run in many many ways i mean i can go through a few with you now but say for example right if you're consistently stockpiling, obviously inflation's going to go up, so food's going to go up even more. If you're struggling with money on one week, for one week and you have a stockpile, you might be able to skip out on groceries for that week that you're struggling with your finances because you do have a stockpile. You can maybe pull some food from that for that week that you're struggling. Stockpiling helps in many, many, many ways. I also wanted to note, guys, make sure you're checking the dates on your items when you're shopping in general and stockpiling. Because of the supply chain issues, some of the items that are coming in now were orders from last year, so that you'll probably see a shorter date life on there. And another thing I wanted to note is, I think some stores are holding their stock because they're trying to distribute it out slowly because they are expecting more issues in the long run. And this might lead to an item restriction later down the track. And when they do introduce these item restrictions, you might only be able to buy one or two of the items that you use quite regularly. And that might not be enough to feed your family. That's why it's important to stockpile on the items that you use right now. And when I say stockpile, I don't mean go nuts and go out and buy a trolley full of canned tomatoes or a trolley full of pasta for a family of two. Okay, that's not responsible. But buying an extra can or extra bag here and there when you do your grocery shops, that's going to help you guys in the long run. And don't forget, we're heading into the winter months in Australia. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's another COVID outbreak when winter hits. And what happens when there's a COVID outbreak, guys? People freak out. People go and buy masses amount of food in a single shop. So that's going to worsen the supply on the shelves. And if you guys gradually stockpile, right, if COVID 
hits again and there's another outbreak, you won't need to go to the shops as often because you have a stockpile. If you go shopping every week, you might be able to push it out to every two weeks and feed off your stockpile items for a little bit. So stockpiling will help in that scenario as well. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. My goal wasn't to freak you out or to scare you. My goal was just to encourage you to be proactive and to keep you informed because I'm sure a lot of you guys didn't know that the government in countries like France, Finland, Germany and many more have instructed their people to stockpile for food at least for 10 days. Don't wait for our government to tell you because most governments... They don't want to give that announcement out to their people because that freaks people out. They only announce those things when shit's about to hit the fan. And excuse my language there, but don't wait for the government to tell you to stockpile. Stockpile now whilst you can. Just make sure you're being responsible when you're doing it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. As usual, I post every Tuesday and Thursday. And lately, I have been posting extra videos as well. So make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching.